Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an EliteBook 850 series G5 model. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access the CMOS battery. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip it over to access our bottom case screws. After removing all the screws seen here, you're going to take a small flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because it'll scratch your case less than a metal one will. We're going to go across the seam all the way around and pry the bottom case off from the rest of the computer. Now it's generally best to start in the back near one of the two corners. Don't go too far in with the pry tool. You could damage some internal components. Just keep it on the edge. Go slow but firm. And if you get stuck going in one direction, just leave it. Start on the other side and go the other way. After you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything when you're working on your computer. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your project, there will be a link above. Also below in the description, it'll be a list of all the tools and supplies that I use in my shop, and I will also include in that list all the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model computer, the 850 G5. Now before I touch anything in a computer, I always either remove or at least unplug my battery. A computer is safest to work on when as little power as possible is running through it. Now here's your battery, right down here. This battery has four screws. Each one will have a little white arrow or triangle next to the M2.5 notation. So you have the one here, 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 and here. And the battery plugs into the motherboard right here. Now, this goes for any cables or wires in a computer. Try not to pull on the actual wires if at all possible. If you can, just manipulate the plug. And this is a nice plug. It's got a grip on either side. You can use your fingernails or a pry tool to wiggle that out of that port without having to pull on that wire too much. So here's your CMOS battery near the bottom left hand corner of my screen. It's held down by double sided tape so if you're here to replace this battery you can pop that up fairly easily. I will try to have a CMOS battery replacement below in the description in that link I told you about with all of the replacement and upgrade parts for this model computer. If you're here to reset BIOS uh, you don't necessarily need to pop that up. All you would have to do is unplug it from this port. So as mentioned earlier, don't pull on the wires, but use your fingernails or a pry tool to wiggle this out of that port on the motherboard. Now, one final note about a BIOS reset, if that's why you're here. In most cases, this will not reset your BIOS password. This will just reset your BIOS system settings. If you want more information on how to reset the BIOS password, check out below in the description. As a last side note, this is a common troubleshooting step if your computer is not turning on. If that's why you're here, there are a lot of other troubleshooting steps you can try. There will be a link above, also below in the description. That will be the full troubleshooting video on how to troubleshoot a laptop not turning on so you can find the cause and fix it. But that's the end of this video, how to get inside the EliteBook 850G5 and access your CMOS battery. Thanks again so much for watching. Uh, please remember to like and share if this helped you out, if you think it can help someone else out. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content like this, or if you just want to keep me on hand to answer any of your future computer questions. I do try to answer all questions throughout my channel at least a couple times a day. Also, feel free to check out the related link section below in the description. From time to time, I do try to add things in there that I think will help you uh, with your general computer life, make it more productive, more enjoyable. So thanks again for watching, everyone. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.